We're back. In episode 51, I said we'd be talking about the port of Invader to the Picotron Fantasy Workstation, programmed in Lua. Picotron is a fantasy workstation that looks like a working environment from back in the late 80s or early 90s, with a complete operating system and built-in development environment using Lua. Created by the same guy that created Pico 8, Joseph White, better known as Zep. So let's take a look at Picotron now. We can open a terminal and get a directory. Let's load our code for Invader. Now we can switch to our code editor and view the code. And check out our sprites. Our background. These two tabs are for sound and also music creation. Now let's run our program. This version uses the full arcade sprites, unlike my Pico 8 version, and I've placed a star field in the background. And there it is, game over. Picotron is still in early development, as Zep is working on it alongside Pico8's updates and bug fixes. But you can try it out for yourself if you'd like. I'll leave a link in the description. It's not free, but it's not expensive for what it has to offer. If we go into System and Settings, you can see that we have different wallpaper for the background, and we also have several different themes you can choose from as well. There are also several demos. One thing you'll notice is these all have a .p64 extension, which means they were created in Picotron, both these and the screensavers that you'll see in a moment. And there are also some screensavers we can check out. Picotron is brilliant. I can't wait to see what comes next. If you haven't checked out my other videos, you can find them here. I'll leave a link in the description. This video brings me up to 52 episodes in total. So next episode, I will be showing the port of Invader to the ColecoVision and Sega Master System in BASIC using CV BASIC by Oscar Toledo. That about wraps up episode 52 in my journey in game programming. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions you may have that could make these a better experience. Until then, bye. I'll talk to you next time.